Hi folks, welcome to Belgrade Beat and I'm doing this trick again. When somebody asks to interview me, I interview them. Hi. Hi. Belgrade Beat, the pulse of the city. So what made you want to interview me? Tell me about yourself and uh, what's going on here. Uh, well, um, I'm a teacher of English and I'm a writer, I'm a journalist and um, since uh, these days uh, I'm a copywriter as mm -hmm. well. But the main thing is writer mm -hmm. and I have published um, four books and now I'm writing uh, the fifth one which is called Belgrade is Love. It's a collection Belgrade of essays. Belgrade is love. love. Yes. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Never really thought of it like that. <laughs> this is catching me off guard, but I love Belgrade. Well, I can say that with my full heart. <laughs> so Belgrade is love. I love Belgrade. Belgrade is love, is me, is you, <laughs> is the universe. Maybe if we're going to get psychedelic about it. But anyways. Um, it's a collection of short essays of stories about me, my life, uh, my friends, uh, parts of Belgrade, uh, my emotions in it. It's like um, emotional mama copper, if you know the, the okay. writer. And I wanted an uh, aspect of uh, strangers. Strangers. Do you know what that I mean? mean <laughs> you mean foreigners? Yes. Strangers are like I know, random I people. I know, I know. They, like that's a stranger, <laughs> even, despite the fact he's probably Serbian. Yes, but yes. foreigners, right? Yeah, foreigners, like foreigners. Yes. Okay, so what do you consider a foreigner here? Somebody who was not born in this country. Okay, what do you consider this country? What I consider this country? Yeah. You mean the borders or Yeah, the yeah, spirit? like so is somebody, is somebody from Croatia uh, a foreigner? Yes. Okay, and um, when did that start being? In, in when they <laughs> declared independence from the former Yugoslavia? Well, yes, they wanted it. Yeah, so they're foreigners, okay. Yes. So anybody but basically somebody who d doesn't live on uh, the Balkans. In the Balkans, yeah. okay, okay. And I wanted... I do live in the Balkans, though. Well, but, but you were not born here. No, I was born in Canada, that's yes. true. So I wanted the view of somebody who who mm, just came here for any reason. You've come to the right stayed, place. stayed, stayed yeah. here for uh, some reason, I don't know yeah. what. Okay. So I wanted to ask you, when did you come here? I came here the first time in 2008. Um, well, the first time I physically came here as a tourist was in 2006. But the first time I came here with no plan to return to Canada was in 2008. But then I ended up returning to Canada because of a death in the Why family. Why did you make that plan? Why? Not to return in the first place. Well, um, there were certain aspects of, of life which um, I did. I did my own personal exploration, and um, certain parts of life were a lot more uh, enjoyable in Serbia than they were in Canada. Example? So, for example, um, being a heterosexual male, drinking alcohol, uh, meeting random people, going out and partying. Uh, so playing, playing music on the streets. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, that was in my 20s. That's what attracted me, this um, openness of, of, you know, come to Serbia, you know, beautiful women, great food, friendly people who are so curious about you and what you're doing here. And, you know, this stay up all night drinking rakia, beer, beer that you can buy at the kiosk 24 hours a day, Studensky Park, all this stuff. And it you was. You heard it before you came, or you, when you came, somebody told you? Well, I heard all of this before I came uh -huh. because I was friends with lots of uh, people from the former Yugoslav region in, in Toronto, Canada, because there's lots of them there. And, and immediately when I got to know these people, um, I realized that we have a lot in common because they're from around here, and my family is from about 500 kilometers up the river from here in a city called Bratislava which was part of the former Austro-Hungarian Empire which went up to uh, about uh, a kilometer away from here so you just try to find roots and allies wherever you can and yeah it's, I mean I, I think that the problem with the perception of Serbia is people in Serbia isolate themselves too much from the world and don't realize that there is commonality first of all with the rest of Central and Eastern Europe the rest of the Balkans the rest of the Mediterranean it's not just Serbia it's like a whole you know I know people from all sorts of countries who come here and, and it resonates something deep within their souls and Do something you human that is isolation Do you feel it when you in the people's mentalities yeah. here mm -hmm. absolutely they they constantly comment about being isolated where the reality is they are essentially global cit citizens with an inferiority complex mm -hmm. You know, it's it's nothing that it's nothing that can't be cured. In my the isolation of Serbia is an imaginary thing in the mentality of of modern day Serbs. Do you feel it in their deeds or in their words? 
Or what do you mean? I mean, did you uh, did anybody do anything that you felt like uh, that you felt like a stranger, a foreigner, or you, you just no? Uh, this you, is you one of the, the let me let me make this clear. Uh -huh. This is one of the most open and friendly countries for people from other countries to come to live. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's because there's not a huge, huge amount of us, but this is one of the places. As for example, my situation, I have Canadian citizenship, mm -hmm. and. In Europe, I, I would say there probably isn't a country so friendly as here for somebody with a passport like mine to come and live uh, with a minimal amount of bureaucracy and, and hassle. Of course, there's still a bureaucracy and hassle, but you know, if you do what I did and you start a business here, go and apply, you'll probably get accepted. You know, it's not hard. It's not like European Union where they have to, you know, make sure that you fit a, a certain profile. And so, how do we uh, seem isolated? The mentality of people. It's not isolated. You're you're watching TV from all over the world, from Mexico, from Turkey, from India, from from Germany, United States, whatever. You're growing up. Everybody here has a decent level of of English. It's just the mentality is that somehow Serbia is isolated, but it doesn't have to be the case. There's like you know dozens of of flights leaving from Belgrade Airport now Nice Airport where you can fly to Italy, Germany for like 10 euros and stuff. It's just go to the entire Schengen zone without a visa it's but the people think that they're isolated but it's not true so what what's the first happiness you felt in Belgrade w where was it or the feeling of life or <laughs> the feeling of first <laughs> feeling of life 2006 I walk out of the train station yes I'm crossing with my big backpack as a tourist first thing I encounter in Belgrade I'm crossing and uh, I sort of stop when I see cars coming, she stops for me and I sort of hesitate, is she really stopping or not? And then this lady who's driving the car just growls at me like... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, wow, that's really spicy, real life. This Welcome. city's got some edge already. Yeah. And, and this, yeah. And immediately I just felt this life of even though like 11 years ago this place didn't look like it does now even, it was still very much looking compared to the rest of Central Europe, you know, a little bit behind. Mm -hmm. But there was this life, there was this pulse. Of, and I was also really surprised the first time that it's, it's so similar to Slovakia in the feeling. Slovakia is where my family's from, where my grandparents, mm -hmm. you know, lived until they were, you know, expelled by the Russian communists for being German. And, and what is behind? What is behind what? You said that we are behind. Oh, now, now I would no. say that that um, that Serbia is is a quickly modernizing country with infrastructure that's getting up to date incredibly quickly. Um, you know, in the field of you know telecommunications and stuff like that. You know, like the mobile internet, 4G works faster than it works much much better than it does in England and many Western mm -hmm. European countries and stuff like that. But now, what's behind in Serbia is just people's mentality of how that they, they can join the 21st century. You know, everybody's sick about... There's so many people who are actually progressing in this digital economy mm -hmm. and realizing that Serbian people with the level of English and their friendly disposition are the most able to take advantage of this in the entire world. But there's still a lot of people who haven't heard the word that you can actually, you know, make a decent amount of money on the internet yes. and you just have to show up on the internet, work hard on the internet and wait for them to send money because this is a great place to live if they send money. You well, know? Everybody's saying we don't have work, we don't have work, no, nobody... Yeah, everybody sits around saying they don't yes. have work but who, who actually gets off their ass and creates work for each other, for people who gets off their ass? I do. I want to see this place. I want to see this place become more 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 whatever direction it's going and now I want more faster more good jobs coming over the internet more people coming to visit this place more people from other countries moving here and making more cosmopolitan and international more ethnic cuisine more um, you know more good cultural happenings every I am fighting for that I'm fighting for more development here and less people sitting on their asses complaining about their fucking lives Totally That's agree. what I'm. So when um, and the happiness when did it come? The happiness. Second day, the happiness in Belgrade. Happiness <laughs> in Belgrade. Yes. Happiness in Belgrade is a thing that uh, 
I still don't know the answer to this question, but the city <laughs> and its vibe and the soul yeah, of the city yeah. is very complex and it's not always just happiness. It's not always just, there's a whole range of emotions mm -hmm. ranging from melancholy, melancholy, depression and all this stuff. And, and happiness in Belgrade is something that comes and goes. Mm -hmm. And, but I, I feel that as, as citizens of Belgrade and people who live here, we're all in this together and everybody feels this connection to their fellow men here in a way that I, I haven't seen in a lot of other cities in, in Europe specifically actually. Maybe it's something more Mediterranean, maybe it's something more, you know, from the, the more Balkan towards Middle Eastern influence, but I feel like in Belgrade we're all in this city together, you know, we all have a respect for each other and sort of commonality which I don't see in countries like London, New York, Toronto, where people are literally walking over each other, trying to get ahead in life, you know, in Western European cities, you know, like, for example, I feel much more safe here on the streets of Belgrade walking than I ever have in London, because in London, nobody gives a shit, but here, everybody's always watching everything. And there's a, just a decency of people that you see here where everybody, you know, just feels this common connection of the city and the people in it. And once so that's happiness. And yeah, that's happiness. That's 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 a very human peace of mind. And it's just like this authenticity of culture that, you know, like it's it, you can say that maybe like human beings like could, you know, should feel this way all over the world, but they don't. And I think the citizens of Belgrade don't realize how special this city is mm -hmm until they move away and what they miss about this place and a lot of them have moved away and come back and those are the people who are you know bringing new ideas to this place mm -hmm. apart from weirdos like me who like to move here and and bring new ideas to this place would you change anything i don't mean about complaining about not having word but really practical things would you change anything practical things no on the practical level for me um yeah like what what could i complain about um really like i i have i have do you take buses and trams and trolls? Yeah, the f system here functions yeah. great. You know, as, as some it's people better joke. Than America. Exactly, as some people joke, it's the best free transit system <laughs> in the world, right? Um, but what what could I change? My life here, like this place has all. Like okay, let's let's face it. The transit you can get anywhere you need to go in the city on a bus. There's night buses that go 20 overnight, you know, 24 hours a day. You can get where you need to go without taking a taxi. Uh, the water from the tap is clean to drink. There's people who clean the streets, pick up the garbage. Um, the internet that I get is fast. Even I can take my mobile phone out now and turn on tethering and I get 15 megs up and down from the mobile internet providers, which is almost unheard of in a lot of countries. Um, most of uh, the city has lots of places where you can buy food 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Supermarkets which work 24 hours a day. Um, I, I, I think that, that the city, that people in other cities should envy this stuff actually. Mm -hmm. A lot of this. The, especially, you know, the 24 hour nature of the city. You know, a lot of people in Western Europe, in Germany, where they close at the grocery shops at 8 o'clock in the evening would, would, would love this. <laughs> oh, no, I felt it in America in a little town called uh, I don't know, I think it's Westchester or something like that. Well, everything Which closed. Which state is that in? Uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everything, and everything closed, closes. Everything yeah. closes at, at five. Yeah. So my my message to the people of the Belgrade of Belgrade is: you don't know how good you have it. Go check mm -hmm. out what's in the world. Go check out how people treat each other in other countries. That's why I chose you to okay. tell me something about something good about Belgrade because it's good. Because it's good. Yeah. Yeah, what's not good? If you don't have a job... Well, make it. I guess so. I don't know what to tell people who... You know, like, if you if you sit around with people who don't have jobs, sitting drinking beer and smoking cigarettes all day, or drinking coffee instead of beer, I don't know, um, then then you're just going to be the, the next person to sit, sit and drink coffee and smoke cigarettes all day. But if you surround yourself with people who are you know, actively looking for opportunity in the world, going out on the internet, finding work, um, using the competitiveness of this country's economy to their advantage rather than complaining about it, then you'll, you'll be in an environment where, where, you know, people are doing stuff and you'll be the next person to do stuff. Well, yes. It's all about who you surround, in any culture, in any country. Like, obviously, obviously your life in New York City is going to be very different if you're living on the street and, and hanging out with other homeless people <laughs> than if you're in, in some high-rise penthouse hanging out with millionaires. Yeah. Your life is going to, your perspective on life and anything is going to be completely different. Same in Belgrade. Okay, so since 
most people aren't making much money and most people and un most people aren't you know employed in their dream job doesn't mean that you can't be it's just I, we need more people to be entrepreneurs here we need more people we don't lack people to be led we lack the leaders to lead them so mm -hmm. if any young Serbian people are watching this I would say go out and start something you know start you know like anything like I had this idea the other day you know smoke detectors and houses almost no houses here have smoke detectors so why don't you why don't you go door to door and see if somebody wants to buy a smoke detector or a carbon monoxide dete detector buy it from China for like two euros sell it for 500 dinars I don't know just yeah. anything that gets you going with the spirit that getting off your ass is a good thing experimenting with business is a good thing and anything just start small even you know I started my business in Canada fixing computers when I was 16 years old just by putting like signs on the on the electrical poles on the street that said computer genius for hire you can call me if you need your computer fixed and people called me and I learned how to run a business from that you don't get your dream job with no experience just get any job go and work learn how to work go and take the next steps in your life it doesn't come from nothing it comes from step by step effort 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 effort, effort. effort. and complaining doesn't count as effort <laughs> So that's my message for the people of Belgrade. I don't really know. I, I say this again and again on my channel, but you know, this place is a really nice place to live. Like just the vibe on the streets, the people, the conveniences you have, you know, the, the good food that you can buy at the piazza here. And it's, it's just full of opportunity. Tasty, food. tasty, tasty ingredients, like amazing. So what else? Nothing, it's okay. Cool. Well, thanks for the interview. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. You will appear in the book. Tell, tell people so how, how do you feel? How I, do feel you? I feel fantastic. I feel amazing. Every day is, is a dream and I'm so glad I live but in how Belgrade. How do you feel that you're going to be in a book? You'll That's fine. I mean, I, how do you feel that you're going to be on YouTube? <laughs> Well, it's my first time. Okay, yeah, so tell the people <laughs> no, where to find I, I you. I had some interviews with the, about my books. Uh, well, I have a page with Chizana Atanaskovic and uh, find my books in libraries and some of them will be published again, so you can find them. Cool. Well, um, thanks a lot, Anna. Thank you. And uh, guys, like, check her out. I'll put some links in the, in the description where yeah. you can find out more about what she writes. Thanks a lot. Bye. La, 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 la. Belgrade Beat. The pulse of the city.